kind of speaking of making money for a lot of the domestic auto OEMs, a big portion of where their revenues come from is in the truck market. Yeah. Can you like looking at the cyber truck and the uh, allegedly the electric F-150, where do you see this or even other SUVs, electric SUVs coming out? Where do you see this being as far as do you think this will be kind of the final market that once this has gone electric or there starts to become electric entrance into it that people will finally start saying okay next time i go buy a car if they can do an electric truck this is kind of showing that this is a real thing and this is a viable option when i go to buy my next car okay so you mentioned the cyber truck and the f-150 they're they're not the same but right. the cyber truck or sorry the f-150 and the rivian now you've got an apples for apples kind of a deal and um and quite frankly uh, the Rivian, <clears throat> we know quite a bit about, and um, that will be a big competitor in the pickup market. And I mean that sincerely. That thing does stuff that um, uh, no no pickup truck could ever do in a million years. Um, it's it's ultra fast. And, uh, not to cut you off, but when you say that, you're talking about an internal combustion engine electric truck or are there other yeah, things right. that Rivian is doing in particular that's unique to electric trucks that are about to come out? I don't know of anybody who's got an electric truck that's like Rivian. Okay. Um, they can, uh, they can do a tank turn. Uh, nobody else can do that. Um, yeah, and by the way, um, I, I drive a, a Jeep Rubicon and um, <clears throat> that, that type of a turn would come in very handy um, if you if you do off roading like I do, especially if you come over a hill and come down and look down and say, ah, I don't want to be here, uh, that tank turn thing could be very very handy. So I think that from a um, off roading standpoint and from a pickup truck to pickup truck standpoint, the conventional F one hundred and fifty and the and the and the Rivian, uh, there's really not there's no comparison. Um, it's going to be very difficult for for Ford or anybody else that's making like Silverado. I I don't know <clears throat> I don't know what I don't know what happened over there, but uh, but the uh, the Silverado uh, really doesn't have a prayer compared to uh, compared to the Rivian. I don't know what GM and Ford and uh, and uh, and Ram are doing uh, about coming up with a truck, but boy, I hope they. Um, I hope they're doing something in a hurry. Now, you mentioned the cyber truck. Mm. There is nothing in the marketplace like that. Um, if you are a hunter, and I am, and uh, or you or you like quads and things like that, my wife won't let me do that anymore because I broke both my wrists. And uh, she said, don't do that. So anyway, um, I don't do quads and bikes, but I will tell you that uh, that uh, it, it doesn't take long to see the advantages that you've got in that, uh, in that vehicle with that timbre door and whatnot. I, uh, I can tell you flat, I can see me, um, you know, um, driving out into, uh, into the back 40 to go deer hunting and, uh, closing up the car, turning on the heat, going to sleep. And then the next morning waking up and, uh, walking for, you know, like 10 feet to get into my blind or get up into my blind because I usually hunt from above. Anyway, I, I love that idea. And when it's time for uh, time for lunch, I don't have to troop all the way back through the woods and hey, I'll just um, I'll just have something right there. I can um, uh, uh, you know it's got plugs. I'll just plug in a, a hot plate or whatever. If I want to, I can have pancakes. I, I I'm telling you. Uh, that truck, that truck, if, uh, if I was, um, if I was going to say, um, it's going to attack an industry, it's going to be the, uh, it's going to be the off-roader, the Jeep kind of, uh, kind of a product. With, that, uh, with, with kind of a comparison to that, um, you, you mentioned the, the bed or the kind of how the gate on the back of the bed folds down is one of the reasons why. Uh, but besides that, you, you no, mentioned no, no, how. No, it's not just that. Oh. No. So the, the tailgate folds down. But the timbre door is the one that comes over the top of everything oh. that hooks into the tailgate. That wow. okay. is what I really like. 
and by the way, we tried to talk two of the major OEMs into doing something like that a long time ago, and it was dismissed. So, but uh, but anyway, that that type of a truck um, that's very appealing to guys who are outdoor outdoorsmen. I think they used to call them or something like that. But but I'm telling you what, that would be uh, that would be something that definitely catch my attention. Well, and I was just curious, uh, the reason I was clarifying was I was just curious why you don't think that would be as doable with the Rivian, but you're saying primarily uh, the closing back and... Yeah, Rivian has basically focused its attention on being a direct competitor to um, direct competitor to um, the pickup truck industry. Yeah. And I don't really look at the cyber truck as something I would buy to be a pickup truck. Why, Why would I do that? I mean... Um, I'm not going to be hauling plywood or two by fours or what have you. Those days for me are gone. I'm not interested in that. But um, um, I mean, like I say, quads, bikes, um, hunting, man, that's going to be hard to beat that truck for, for what a hunter might right. want. No, and I think what's unique to that is at least the interest from people who are traditionally not, it's kind of opened up a new market. People who might not traditionally be truck buyers are now looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. It it is. It's a totally different market. And, um, and like I say, the closest thing that I can say to that would be something like the Jeep or the new Bronco that came out. Those are the only two things that I can think of where, and, but I won't drive my Jeep out and do that. I, you know, I'll freeze to death or I need to leave the car on. The, right. the electricity doesn't make any noise to keep you warm. So it's a, I like, uh, you know, I like that, uh, that prospect. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to visit our website, connectingthegrid.com. There you can listen to our podcasts, contact us about sponsorship, or even be a guest on Grid Connections. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, we'd appreciate a positive rating on your favorite podcast or video streaming service. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out a lot too. Thank you again, and I look forward to us learning more together soon.